Metro 2033, the book. So if you haven't played the games and if you're not familiar with the story, this is a post-apocalyptic book taking place in Moscow. Moscow is left in ruins due to a long ago war and the surface is uninhabitable because of the radiation. So the survivors of the apocalypse has took shelter in the metro tunnels, but the metro tunnels isn't safe either. You have dangerous people that inhabit the tunnels. Factions have formed, even the Nazis regrouped. And worst of all is there's creatures lurking in the dark, waiting to grab you and pull you into the unknown of the metro tunnels. So if you've played the games before, this book will feel very familiar to you, but feeling very different at the same time. You have some of the same characters, but the story happens differently. And the games were more heavy into the action horror side, but the book is all horror with very little action. Just like in the first game, the main character, Artyom, he's given a task that involves him going a long way through these uh, tunnels encountering all kinds of horrors and things lurking in the darkness. There's also little farms where people have pigs and chickens. There's no electricity in the metro tunnel, so if people have light, they have to use uh, lanterns, campfires, torches, anything uh, involving fire. And also, if you've played the games, some of the creatures in the games is also in this book, which was a nice surprise. And last but not least, the author does a great job at setting the atmosphere. This book has great atmosphere to where you, the reader, is tempted to look over your shoulder to make sure something isn't lurking behind you. So if you like the games, definitely pick this book up. I think you'll really enjoy it. And I actually learned about these books through the games. Because while you're playing the games, there's little Easter eggs of the actual books just laying around uh like want to be on somebody's bed or a desk or something like that and I, when i seen that i was like these games are based on books i have to read them so yeah it's it's a trilogy there's three books and i've only read the first one so far and i'm probably going to pick up the second one pretty soon i heard that it doesn't have artem uh in it at all so that's kind of weird but we'll see uh the second one isn't very loved from what I see on Goodreads, uh, it doesn't have very good ratings. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to go in, leaving that at the door, and just seeing if I like it. But, yeah. So, I'm going to give Metro 2033 an S. And I'm sorry it's been so long since my last video. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I've been playing the three games that the books are based on. Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, and Metro Exodus. I got a platinum trophy for all three games, so I've been busy with that, and I've platinumed other, a couple other games, so yeah, uh, I looked at my last video and seen that it was over 40 days ago, and I'm like, wow, I can't believe it's been that long. I gotta get a video out. So yeah, I decided to review this book because I really liked it, and I've read it here recently. So uh, if you've read it, uh, give me your opinions down in the comments below. I want to hear them. And if you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. And I will see you guys later.